So let's move on and uh, let's see how we can work with the get data. Okay, so I'm going to open uh, now the super globals, get and post and get search form. Okay, and that's the form we're gonna we're gonna work on on this uh, particular section. Okay, so we have really simple search form. We type something there, hit the search button. It doesn't actually do anything except one thing. So in the URL, as you observe, we now have keyword equals to the given one. Okay, so without that question mark and anything, the form looks like this. As soon as we type something there, like PHP, for example the enter button in the URL we see question mark keyword equals to PHP and that's called query parameters so everything after question mark is a query parameter and in this case the keyword is the query parameter name and PHP is the query parameter value so if we like we can have multiple query parameters by separated by uh, end symbol okay so end like a keyword uh, equals to PHP uh, and for example like a version equals to 1.2 just an example okay so these are two different query parameters and we can always access query parameters in PHP using super global get okay so let me show you so we have super global get and let's just simply print everything what is inside that super global get okay and here it is so we have keyword corresponds to PHP and version corresponds to 1.2 that's an associative array okay that's cool so now what happens so if I delete uh, that query parameters and hit the enter my query parameters array my get super global is empty if I ta start typing something there like uh, as I said PHP then uh, in the get we have keyword corresponds to PHP and what is that keyword where does it come from we have really simple HTML form as I said we have a method set to get we have input there and the input has name and that name is used for this query parameter name keyword if I change something here and call it like search for example and uh, let me type here PHP Let, let's repeat this and here I see search okay um, okay so now let's access that uh, keyword get that keyword and like uh, after we get the keyword we can make some search in the database or things like that so we, we basically in this video we're just gonna take the um, take the keyword not in this video but in this in this section okay so uh, let's take the keyword equals to super global get keyword uh, keyword and then, then we can print the keyword okay so uh, the name let's change back to keyword let's refresh it and here's the thing so on the first page load when there is nothing in the uh, query in the URL no query parameters then the get is empty and we try to get the keyword but it doesn't exist in the get okay so as soon as I type something there hit the search then the warning disappears and my uh, keyword is printed but before that it shows that notice error so we need to check so we just don't want to take from get we need to check if inside the super global get keyword exists in this case we can take that keyword and print it okay so in this case we need that echo to be inside the set that's cool so when we first open the page we don't see anything let's comment this get we don't see anything as soon as I type something there like my keyword keyword then I see that keyword printed right here okay and here we have the keyword not here but here we have the keyword and we can optionally uh, make a request to the database by the keyword or something like this okay do whatever is necessary with keyword okay that's cool let me uh, collapse the right side okay 
And one good addition to the, this everything will be that we take the keyword and when we search something, assign it back into the input. Okay, so value of the input equals PHP opening and closing tags keyword. Okay, echo keyword, just like this. And that's that's good, but the thing is that if the keyword doesn't exist, that will work in this case, and we see the keyword in the search form, but if there is no query parameter in the URL. In this case, keyword doesn't exist, and the value becomes that error undefined variable keyword, which is obviously really bad. So we need to declare keyword as an empty string right here if it exists then it will be assigned we can completely remove that echo and now that's it so we type php right there it, it we can do some search but we leave the php in the search box okay so that's all about get super global get let's move on and see how we can work with post data